This is a calculation question, so don't be lazy. Make sure you show you're working. Make sure that you check your answer, check your units are coherent, and check through by putting them all through the calculator again to check you haven't made any sloppy powers of 10 errors or anything like that. Check your answer is sensible, but remember sometimes they're trying to ask you to calculate things that do surprise you. Conservation of moments then. Um, I think we can do this. Uh, this should just be money in the bag, five marks. All right, whenever you see this, it's worth either annotating on this, okay, or labeling it or drawing your own little diagram. So length 3.6 meters, weight of the diver 680 newtons, weight of the diving board itself 390 newtons. I think if some people don't get full marks on this, they're probably gonna have ignored this here. Um, and we know that the distance from X to Y is 0.9 meters. Okay, so with moments, you need to just remember that the sum of the anti-clockwise moments equals the sum of the clockwise moments. So around X, Y is anti-clockwise. Okay, and the weight of the diver and the weight of the diving board are clockwise moments. Okay, so that's, that's all that is. Fill out that exp expression then. Y times 0.9. I hope you all know that a moment is a force times a perpendicular distance. Um, if you don't, then you need to have a little look at that. Luckily, in this case, they're all perpendicular, so we don't have to do any sign relationships. That's nice. You may well have to do that. Remember, perpendicular distance is D. Um, and then what else have I got? First clockwise moment, 390 is the weight there. And that's going to be, it's a uniform diving board, we're told, I think, somewhere. It certainly should be. Diving board is uniform, has a weight of that. So we know that's going to be halfway along the length. So 3.6 divided by 2 is... 1.8, oh sorry, plus, because this should be the sum of, 680 times by 3.6, add all those up, 3150 newton meters, which is the unit of moment or torque, and then y is going to be that over 0 0.9, just rearrange, which is 3,500 newtons. That is not a tricky uh, moments question. We should be picking up full marks on that. This one here is a question regarding Newton's laws. You must have for these exams a dictionary definition of Newton's three laws and expand it as far as possible. Okay, two reasons why this is not a Newton's third law pair. So you need to have the expanded definition that Newton's third law pairs always have the same size, okay, have the same line of action, but in opposite directions. They've got the same time of action. They act on different objects. Is of the same type. They must be of the same type of force. And you can always just uh, check that by changing things around because if the Newton's law can be expressed like this. The force from A to B is equal but opposite to the force from B to A. So if it's the case that the force from B to A is equal but opposite to the force from A to B, then, then that's a way of checking it. So what the, go through these. Are these the same size? Yes, they're the same size, so that's okay. It's about equilibrium. It's a Newton's first law pair, essentially. All right, so it's not that. Uh, do they act for the same time? Yeah, I presume so. I mean, when he stops standing on it, there's going to be no more reaction. So it's not that. That's not the, the reason is. Are they the same type? Well, that's a weight. That's a gravitational force. And that's a reaction force. So no, they are different types. Um, what else have we got? Are they in the same line of action? Yes, they are in the same line of action. So it's not going to be that. Do they act on different bodies? Is it a force from A to B or from B to A? So this is force diagram for the driver, the diver standing on the board. Right, the reaction force is the board on the diver. Okay, and the weight is actually the gravitational force of the earth on the diver. 
So no, they're not A, B, B, A, are they? It's actually both forces are acting on the diver. Okay, so they're both acting on the same object. I would also accept an explanation that the reaction is caused by the board and the weight is caused by the earth. So it's not A, B, B, A. So I hope that was really useful to you. Exam questions are a great way to practice for exams, but don't just do exam questions. There's, if you struggle with that exam question, then you probably need to revisit the theory for that topic. So do that before you have a go at some other ones. If I've made any mistakes, then correct them down below. And if you've got any more questions, then down below as well. Maybe you guys can help each other out. And there should be some um, playlists around here and a subscribe button if you like that and you want to see some more as I'm going to bring it out. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.